to be doing an intermediate flow today. You will need a block or like maybe if you don't have a block, you can use like a thick hardback book or something along those lines. Just something you can lightly support your weight on. You're never going to be dumping your weight on it, so it doesn't have to be super sturdy, but you don't have to be sturdy enough. So let's get started. We'll start an extended child's pose just to kind of get us into our breath and into the present moment. So open your knees out wide, bring your big toes to touch, crawl your hands forward and bring your torso down towards your mat. Sink your hips down towards your heels, feel the stretch in your side body. Start to inhale through your nose. Open mouth exhales. Keep going with that breath. I kind of have a cold or I'm still trying to get over one. So if you hear me snivelly or coughing or phlegmy, I apologize. My kid started school, so I guess this will be my life now. Is contracting whatever illness he brings home with him. <laughs> Get tuned in to this present moment. Leave everything that happened off of your mat beforehand. Don't think about what you need to do once you get off your mat. Just tune in to what is currently And I'm just kind of poking my head up so you guys can hear me. I have a body mic and I just, that's going to be a, a production manager project, AKA my husband. <laughs> and I'm trying to do this by myself, so. <laughs> Sink your hips. If Ujjayi breath is in your practice, that's your breath of fire cultivates heat within your body. You can seal your lips, start to inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. It's like you're lightly, lightly restricting the back of your throat. Almost like you're trying to whisper. I don't sound like ocean waves crashing onto the very appropriate because I went to the beach today and it was beautiful. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, come up to tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Press firmly into the tops of your feet. Grow long through your spine. Keep your gaze down and out to keep the back of your neck long. Take an inhale. Drop your belly. Lift your tailbone and the crown of your head up towards the sky. Cow pose. Exhale. Arch your spine. Draw your tailbone and your crown down towards your mat. Cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Keep your shoulders drawn away from your ears. Move with your own breath. You can take any side to side movements that feel good. This is your practice. I'm just simply a guide. You take any side to side movements, even out your sides. On your next inhale, come to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes, extend your legs out. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your tailbone towards the sky. Melt your heels down towards your mat. Press firmly into the L's of your hands. Keep your shoulders and arms active, but keep your shoulders drawn away from your ears. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. 
Exhale, step to the top of your mat, ragdoll. Step your feet behind your wrists, hip width distance apart, maybe a little bit wider, depending on how it feels for you. Press into all four corners of your feet. Feel the stretch in the backs of your legs and your lower back. Keep your spine nice and long. Take an inhale and an exhale. Grab opposite elbows. And on your inhale, open up with your elbows, with your hands on your elbows. Open up to the right side for sunflower. Lift up through your spine. Exhale, fall over to the left. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fall. Open up through your side bodies. Feel the stretch. Pause next time you're at the bottom. Switch in the other direction. Come up through your left side. Exhale, fall down through your right. I don't know why. I freaking love this posture. <laughs> I don't know why. It feels really good. After three or four times of opening up on your exhale, settle down at the bottom. Toe heel your feet together. Inhale, slowly roll all the way up to Samasti Tihi, equal standing posture. Roll your shoulders down and back. Bring your hands to heart center. Find stillness. Can set an intention here for this practice. It can be whatever you want it to be. I'll offer you the intention of gratitude. Around the holidays, things can get so busy, so stressful. If you're around family, if you're far away from family, Maybe you just don't have the money you'd like to be able to give the things that you want to be able to give to the people you love. Maybe you have so much money and you feel like it's just become a materialistic holiday and you don't like that. Whatever it is though, just take a breath in and think of one thing that you are just overwhel overwhelmingly grateful for. On your exhale, breathe it out into the room. Take another inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. Put your hands high up over your head. Elongate through your spine. Press down into the four corners of your feet. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Bring your right arm down and back. Reach back towards the back of your mat. With your left arm, reach forward to the front of your mat. Squeeze your shoulder blades together to encourage the twist, but keep your hips square towards the front of your mat. Twist in your upper body, not your hips. Take an inhale. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Bring your left arm down and back. Bring your right arm forward. Keep your hips squared by pulling back on your right hip and forward on your left. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Take an inhale. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. 
Exhale, baby back bend. Shift your weight into your heels, rise through your chest. Cactus out your arms. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, bring your hands through heart center, forward fold. Relax your torso down and over your thighs. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Make sure your weight is evenly distributed throughout your feet. You can bend your knees as generously as you need to to keep your spine nice and long. Inhale, halfway lift. Place your hands on either your shins or your thighs. Squeeze your shoulder blades down and back. Shift your weight into your toes like you're peering over a cliff. Exhale. Step your feet back into high plank. Inhale, shift forward onto your toes. Exhale, low plank. Bend your elbows up to 90 degrees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press into the tops of your feet to lift your shins and your knees off of your mat. Press into your hands to shine your chest forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to flow through that one more time with just a few changes. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sink your hips low, uh, draw your tailbone down and back. Shift your weight into your heels, bring your hands up overhead, go long through your spine. Take an inhale, exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Bring your left elbow up and over towards your right thigh. Press your hands firmly together to stack your elbows over your wrists. Gaze down at your knees and make sure they're aligned with one another. The, uh, the more you sink into your chair, the easier the twist is. Take an inhale. Exhale, maybe you twist a little deeper. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Bring your right elbow up and over towards your left thigh. Stack your shoulders over one another. Stack your elbows over your wrists. With every inhale, find length. With every exhale, deepen your twist. <laughs> Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. 
exhale, forward fold. Inhale, clench your hands, high plank. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Square your hips towards your mat. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Rise through your chest. Stack your heel over your toes. Stack your front knee over your front ankle. Square your hips. Take an inhale. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Take an inhale. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, exalted crescent. Place your back arm on the back of your thigh. And you lift your front arm up and overhead. Face towards the right corner of your mat. Relax your shoulders down. Keep your abdomen engaged. Take an inhale. Big movement. Sweep your lifted arm all the way to spin you open into warrior two. Squeeze your shoulder blades together to open up through your chest. Spin your back foot down to where it's parallel with your mat. Press firmly into the outer edge of that foot. Keep your front knee stacked over your front ankle. Take an inhale. Exhale, reach forward with your front hand. Bring your front arm down towards your mat, your back arm up towards the sky, extended side angle. Stay strong in your lunge. Lift through your side body to engage your obliques. Take an inhale. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep that front knee bent. Bring your front arm up overhead like you're high-fiving someone behind you. Square your shoulders to the side of the room. You can bring your other arm either to the back of your thigh come to a half bind and reach towards your front hip. Take an inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down. Step back, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent. Come up high onto your, your back toes. Keep your front knee stacked over your front ankle. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Take an inhale. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep your hips squared towards the front of your mat. Inhale, exalted crescent. Place your back hand on the back of your thigh, your front hand up over your head. Gaze towards the left corner of your mat. Or your ceiling, I should say. Take an inhale. Exhale, use your lifted arm to spin you around into warrior two. Maintain that low lunge, but plant your back foot all the way onto your mat, parallel with the short ends of your mat. Reach out in opposite directions. Gaze intentionally over your front middle finger. Take an inhale. Exhale, reach forward. Bring your front arm down towards your mat, your back arm towards the sky. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. 
to open up through your shoulders. Take an inhale, hold for your exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Sweep your hand up and overhead. Feel that stretch in your side body. You can place your hand on the back of your thigh or go for a half bind. Stay strong in your lunge. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, or Mukha Svanasana. <laughs> Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Throwing some Sanskrit at you. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Again, we're going to flow that one more time. Breath to movement with a few changes, so just listen out for those. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, bring your hands through heart center for a twist to the right. Inhale, chair. Exhale, bring your hands through heart center for a twist to the left. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Listen for the change. Exhale, Plant your palms on your mat. Bend your elbows like you're going to go into Chaturanga. Place your knees anywhere between your elbows and your armpit. Shift your weight forward. And maybe you float up into crow. Option to just flow through a regular upward, downward facing dog. If you're in crow, hold for two breaths. And then you can either jump back into a low plank or step back into a low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, lift through your chest, crescent lunge. Exhale. Open arm twist. Inhale, exalted crescent. Exhale, warrior two. I'm over here out of breath. <laughs> inhale, ex or sorry, take an inhale, reach forward with your hand. Exhale, extended side angle. Gaze down in front of your toes. Option to grab your block for an added, added balance challenge. You can do it without it. But launch forward into that front foot on an inhale. Lift your back foot up in line with your hip for half moon. Open up to the side of your mat. Reach your top arm up towards the sky. Maybe you could use your block at first. But you lift your hand off once you feel stable. Take an inhale. Exhale. Lower your foot gently back down into extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Lift your front toes. Straighten your leg. Shift your hips towards the front of your mat. Exhale. Pivot on your lifted heel to come into forward fold. I'm sorry, into wide leg forward fold. Maybe you widen your stance. Maybe you shorten it. Whatever feels best for you. Got my hair falling down. If you have a headstand practice, you're more than welcome to journey into one if that's where your body needs you. 
Take an inhale, go along through your spine. Exhale, relax it down a little deeper. Inhale, come into a halfway lift into your torso. Exhale, crawl your hands over to a low lunge. Take an inhale, step back into high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent. Seriously, what is, what is, what is this? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Hair is everywhere. Exhale, open arm, twist to the left. Inhale, exalted crescent. Exhale, spin open to warrior two. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, gaze towards the top of your mat in front of your toes. Grab your block if need be. Launch your weight forward. Come into half moon. Notice that every side is different. Maybe you used a block on the other side. And you don't need to on this side, maybe vice versa. Just always honor where your body's at. Keep your lifted toes flexed. Maybe you lift up off of your block. I can't do it on this side. <laughs> Take an inhale. Exhale slowly, lower your back foot down. Extended side angle. Inhale. Reverse triangle, bump your hips towards the front of your mat, reach through your top arm, lift your toes, exhale, parallel your feet to the short ends of your mat, wide leg forward fold. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Shift your weight into your toes, lift your tailbone towards the sky, take an inhale, and an exhale. Inhale, come to a halfway lift. Exhale, walk your hands to the, I don't, I don't even know how to do that, okay. <laughs> walk your hands into a low lunge. Inhale, step your foot back. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, come to the top of your mat to a seat. So bring the soles of your feet together. Place, place, place your block. I can't talk. Place your block in between your feet. Open your knees out wide. Slowly lower all the way down to your back. Place your hands behind your head. Open up your elbows. Um, plant your lower back into your mat. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Every time you lift, feel free, preferably, to open mouth. Exhales to release some of that heat you've been cultivating. Go with the pace of your own breath. You can keep your block on the mat, or you can pulse it every time you lift your torso, or you can have a static hold in your lower body with your block lifted. Whatever level you're at with your block, press firmly into it with your feet, and it will help activate your lower core. You're here for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Grab your block, place it to the side. Four right now. 
We're going to do eagle crunches. Bring your right leg over your left, your right arm underneath your left. Connect your palms if you can. Bring your elbows in line with your shoulders. Bring your palms away from your face. Again, make sure your lower back is connected to your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. These are really hard to talk during, so we're just gonna breathe together. <laughs> left leg over your right, your left arm underneath your right, bring your shoulders in line, your elbows in line with your shoulders, pull your hands away from your face, lengthen and crutch, lengthen and crutch, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. your legs, grab your block, place it on your left thigh, bring your right elbow to your block, extend your right leg up high. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift your leg. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Stay flexed through your toes. Stay lifted in your shoulders. If it's really hard for you to keep your block pinned, you can try putting it on a higher setting. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Swap sides. You guys are awesome. Get strong. <laughs> Inhale, lower your leg. Exhale, lift. Lower. Lift, lower, lift. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Going. Um, I'm having brain issues over here. Eight, seven, six, five, four. One, grab your block, bring your, bring your feet and your hands up towards the sky. I don't know why I did this to myself. I created this, I created it this way. Exhale, lift towards your feet, grab your block with your feet. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, pass your block back to your hands, lower, lift, Lower, lift, lower. Exhale, 
inhale, exhale, inhale. Woo. Four, three, two, and one. We are done with core. <laughs> awesome. Give hug your knees into your chest. Maybe rock from side to side. Rock and roll the length of your spine, maybe a few times. And come to a seated position. We're going to be doing side crow for our inversion. I'll demo it real quick and then you guys can play around as much as you'd like with it. You can pause the video if you want some extra time to play in it. Um, if you have any other inversion you're working on, you can do that instead. But I'll show you guys how to do it. And then you guys can do it. Come in from a prayer twist. Lower down onto your toes. Plant your hands like you're going into regular crow. Bend your arms like you're going into chaturanga. Shift your weight forward. Lift your feet off of your mat. You can support your hip with your other tricep. If you do one side, make sure you even it out on the other. If you want to try it without your hip supported, I find the easiest way to do that is from a wide leg forward fold because it really doesn't give you the option to even put your hip down. So if you want to try that, from a wide leg forward fold, bring your knee across your body to your opposite tricep, shift your weight forward, slowly lift your feet. Okay. We're going to go ahead and just go into extended child's pose. Um, restore a little bit after that core. Again, if you want to play around with inversions a little bit more, feel free to pause the video. Whenever you're ready, come into extended child's pose. Let go of whatever did or didn't happen. Maybe you're really disappointed in yourself because you feel like your core was super weak. I feel like my core has been so burnt out lately. And it's probably because I've been doing way too much core. <laughs> and that's just always a sign for you to rest. So don't ever be hard on yourself if you know you can do something and you didn't accomplish it because that's just your body telling you to slow down. If maybe you accomplished it for the first time and that's super exciting, no matter what the outcome was, let it go because it no longer matters. It's the past and we're in the present. Find your breath again, this extended child's pose. Lengthen through your side body. Inhale, come up to tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Bring your block with you. Step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Bring your hands high up overhead. Exhale, shift your weight into your left foot. Bring your right knee up in line with your right hip. Flex your toes towards your face, one leg mountain. Grow long through your spine, take an inhale. Exhale, bring your hand in line, or I'm sorry, your elbow in line with your right hip. From one leg mountain, kick your foot back towards your glute. Capture your inner arch with your hand. Inhale, grow long through your spine, connect your knees together, square your hips. Exhale, kick into your foot for dancers. Kick into your hand for dancers. Reach forward with your free hand. 
Think of an upward facing dog motion in your torso. Take an inhale, kick a little bit higher. Exhale, let go of your foot. Travel both hands directly behind you. Bring your torso in line with your hips and your heel. Airplane. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, option to grab your block. Twist open to the side for half moon again. Or maybe you do it without your block. Maybe after core and all of that, you feel a lot stronger and you feel like you don't need it. If you fall, just float back up. Take an inhale, exhale, come into supported airplane. Place your hands on either your mat or your block, whatever feels better, or your book if you're rocking a book. Take an inhale, exhale, slowly drop your foot down in line with your standing leg for forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. I always do that, I always move my block in the opposite direction of where I need it. I do that in class too. Inhale, mountain pose. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, shift your weight into your right foot. Lift your left knee up in line with your left hip. Flex your toes towards your face. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop your elbow down in line with your hip. Kick your foot towards your glute. Capture your inner arch. Inhale, grow long through your spine. Connect your knees. Exhale, dancer's pose. Kick into your hand, reach your free hand forward. And balancing postures, it's really great to find an unmoving point of focus. It's known as your dristi. Inhale, maybe you kick a little bit higher. Exhale, release your foot, kick it straight back. Flex through your toes, bring your hands straight behind you. Use the muscles in your back to lift your torso away from your mat. Inhale, hold for your exhale. Inhale, option to grab your block. Spin open to the side of your mat for half moon. Take an inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, supported airplane. Bring your hands to your mat or your block, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to the plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Extend your back leg straight out behind you. Bring your knee towards your wrist, your ankle towards your other wrist. Square your hips towards your mat. If you feel like you have too much space, you can place a block underneath your hip for a little bit more support. Take an inhale, go long through your spine. Keep your front toes flexed to protect your knee. Exhale, half pigeon, sleeping half pigeon. Fold your torso over. You can always stay in proud pigeon if you would prefer. You can, the more you crawl your hands out, the deeper the stretch in your hips will be. So find whatever level's good for you. 
You can stay on your forearms. You can bring your head to your mat or to a block. Just kind of rock your third eye back and forth. If you hold a lot of tension in your brow, you're constantly furrowing your brows, this feels incredible. Just breathe in this posture. You guys have done awesome. Whenever you're ready, slowly come back up on your inhale. Shift your weight to your right hip. Swing your left foot to the front of your mat. Place your right foot on the inside of your left thigh. Bring your hands up overhead, pivot towards your left foot. On your exhale, fold over. Maybe you capture your foot, maybe you capture your shin or your calf. If you have a lot of space and you feel like your foot isn't a good enough stretch, you can always, I can't do it. But you can always add your block to the end of your foot to give yourself something further away to grab. Melt your torso down. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Take an inhale and an exhale. Bring the inside of your left forearm to the inside of your left leg. Reach on your inhale, your right hand over your head. Slowly reach towards your foot. It's perfectly okay if you don't make a hand to foot connection. As you can see, I am nowhere near it. You just wanna feel that nice deep stretch in that side body. You can send your gaze up or to the side maybe even down, depending on what feels best for your neck. I have a really sensitive neck, so I always take it pretty mild on my neck. I haven't even been doing my headstands lately because my neck just hasn't been feeling it. Inhale, lift your hand back up. Exhale, place it behind your right glute. And then on your next inhale, reverse, sweep your left hand up overhead. Get a good angle for you guys. Come up onto your knee, half gate. Open up, exhale, come back down. You can either get back into downward facing dog or if you want to just go into half pigeon on the left, you can just bring your right foot out Bring your left leg in and sweep your right foot behind you. Square your hips towards your mat. Again, you can always do it from downward facing dog again if that's what feels better. Flex your toes. Bring your knee towards your wrist, your ankle towards your other wrist. Make sure that your leg is straight behind you. Inhale for proud pigeon. Puff up through your chest. Exhale, sleeping pigeon, melt your torso down. Inhale, slowly come back up whenever you're ready. Shift your weight to your left hip, swing your right foot back around. Place your left foot on the inside of your right leg. Lift your hands up overhead, shift towards your foot. Exhale, half pigeon. I'm sorry, um, no, forehead to knee pose. <laughs> 
This isn't half pigeon at all. <laughs> Again, if your forehead doesn't come to your knee, that's fine. On the other side, I'm nowhere close. On this side, if I lightly breathe into it, I can slowly work my forehead a lot closer to my knee than I can on the other side. Again, every side's different. Just honor it. Always do your body justice. Place your hand or your arm on the inside of your right leg. Inhale your hand high. Exhale, reach for your toes. Open up, squeeze your shoulder blades lightly together. Don't crank it, don't force it, but just kind of open up through your shoulders. If that's too intense, don't do it. Inhale your hand back up. Exhale, place it behind your left glute. Inhale, reach your right arm up overhead, stretch through your other side body. Come up on your knee, half gate. Exhale, slowly lower your hips down. Bring your legs straight out in front of you. Lower all the way down. Inhale your knees into your chest. Exhale, happy baby. Reach for the inside or outside of your feet. Bring your knees wide down towards your mat. If that's too intense, you can, you can always grab your calves or your thighs. Press your tailbone and your shoulders down into your mat. I used to always think I was so flexible and happy baby. And then I realized my tailbone was like way up here. So whenever I actually learned that your tailbone is supposed to be glued to the mat, I was like, oh, I'm not as good at this as I thought I was. But that was okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Maybe you rock back and forth, straighten one leg and then the other. Maybe both. You can always make happy baby noises. One time I was the only one in class to do that whenever the teacher suggested it. And that was a, that was a unique experience. <laughs> Bring your knees back into your chest. Bring your left foot down onto your mat. Exhale into your side body. I'm sorry, inhale your knee into your side body. Exhale, supine twist. Inhale your knees back into center. Exhale your right foot down onto your mat. Inhale, hug your knee in. Exhale, supine twist. Keep both, shoulder, keep both shoulders glued to your mat. If one shoulder is popping up, just back out of your twist a little bit. Don't feel like you have to crank your body open, gravity will do all the work for you. Inhale, hug your knees in. Exhale. Extend everything out. Relax it all for your final Shavasana. If there's any other postures you would like to take before Shavasana, feel free. Again, this is your practice. I'm simply a guide. Let your toes fall out, your heels fall in. Relax the muscles in your face, unclench your jaw, unfurl your brow. 
Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Let everything go. You guys did amazing. If you have the gift of time, feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. If you're ready to move on with your day, slowly bring small movements back into your body. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Maybe rock your head from side to side. Take a long body stretch as if you're waking up for the first time. Roll over to your favorite side for supported fetal position. Press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands to heart center. We'll take one more collective breath. Take an inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Bring your hands up to your third eye. The soul in me sees and honors the soul in each and every one of you. We bow forward and namaste.